Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios and all of the Christmas decorations are up and it is so beautiful. I wanted to come out, look at some decorations, eat some food, meet up with a friend and enjoy a wonderful evening at Hollywood Studios. Anywho's, let's go do this. I just love the Christmas decorations that they have here at Hollywood Studios. It gives me such a nostalgic feel. I don't know why, I think it's just the way that they are. They're like 80s, 90s uh, uh, Christmas decorations. Kind of what I had in my house when I was growing up. And that's why it's my second favorite park. Obviously, Magic Kingdom is my number one, but Magic Kingdom and then Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom and Epcot, they're okay, you know what I mean? Let me know in the comments what your favorite park is to visit during the holiday season. I feel like Magic Kingdom will probably be like the majority of people's votes, but Hollywood Studios is definitely a close second. We're gonna actually head in now, and I wanna see if my Christmas magic band will light up here. Like it usually lights up like red and green and does like a little jingle but uh, maybe it might be the annual pass holder one. We'll find out, here we go. Oh, it's the annual pass holder one. Annual pass holders get like a special effect at the turnstiles whenever you touch your magic band or card. And I have a limited edition Christmas magic band. And I think when I go to Magic Kingdom, it lights up red and it lights up green and makes a little jingle jingle sound. I put that in my Christmas vlog for Magic Kingdom, but every annual pass holder gets that effect now. And I think that's kind of nifty. But boy, oh boy, look at these decorations. I love it and we are going to be sticking around until nighttime to see it all lit up because Echo Lake is so beautiful at night. I love staring at the big ornaments and we'll probably head over there right now so we can say hi to Gertie. These are the decorations that I'm talking about. We've got some reindeers, we've got Santa Claus, and I just love it. Like I said, these feel like nostalgic to me and they're all capped off by Echo Lake. Look at that. Isn't it so beautiful? Honestly, during the holidays, I can just come out here and stand and just stare for hours. I love it so much. And the music is amazing. And there's Gertie. She's got her Santa hat on and she's got an ornament in her mouth. I'm so happy the holiday season's here. Sadly, just because all of the Christmas decorations are out, I don't think the full holiday season kicks off for another couple days. I mean, there's not really any holiday snacks out or merchandise, and it sounds like the regular music loop is actually still going. So we're gonna have to come back and do a full Christmas at Hollywood Studios vlog. But today, we are here to hang out with a friend and enjoy the park itself, and we're actually gonna talk about something that I plan on doing in the next couple days that's kind of adventurous for me. So I'm very excited to share that with you. And holy moly, my dreams are about to come true. Here comes Maxi. <laughs> there he is. How are you, Maxie? <laughs> I like your phone. Are you taking a picture of me? Oh, you're taking a picture of me. That is awesome. That was so cool. Max just walked out. I'm like, hey, Maxie. I got super excited and giddy because he's one of my favorite all-time characters. A Goofy movie is one of my all-time favorite Disney movies. And I wish I could have saw him and the Goof together. Sometimes they hang out there, but I think it's just Maxie. And I like how he has a cell phone. He's taking photos. I took a photo of me. I feel special. Speaking of Gertie herself, it looks like Dinosaur Gertie's Ice Cream of Extinction is open. I hardly ever see this open. They just sell uh, Mickey Premium bars in there, but uh, yeah, I never see it open. And look at that, it's open for the holiday season. I love it. Just to point out some of the detail of the Christmas decorations, we have like the mistletoes here, but they even decorate the top of the umbrellas here. And I think that is such a unique touch. I mean, that is really awesome. I can see some ornaments. They kind of look like Christmas trees because they're green. Wow, that just hit me and I got surprised and happy. But that is really nifty. We're gonna actually go meet up with our friend and we're gonna have a little lunch. And it's funny because the restaurant we're going to actually has Christmas decorations and they normally have these Christmas decorations all year round. And I'll tell you more about it when we get there because it's a part of the theming. But uh, yeah, I'm super excited. And I'm meeting up with my friend, Meg from Mickey's Magic. Are you excited for a fun Hollywood Studios day? I am. Yeah. I've been, I mean, I've been here for most of the day so far, but it's been fun. And I'm excited to do more fun things later. Yeah, and it's your birthday in a couple days. Tomorrow. Very fancy. So we're celebrating a little bit. Happy yeah. birthday. Thank you. Oh, that's later. <laughs> 
we're gonna make our way down into Grand Park here and we're gonna be heading over to Mama Melrose and I like this place I haven't eaten here a lot I feel like it gets a bad rep but it's a uh, nice theming it's in a good area and there's not too many restaurants at Hollywood Studios anyway one of the things that's really shocking is the fact that It's a Wonderful Shop isn't open yet here at Hollywood Studios. It's the Christmas shop that they had, and it's usually open all year like round, but it didn't reopen when the parks reopened, and it's still closed to this day. And you think the holiday season, they would definitely get somebody in there, you know what I mean? But look at that, still just sitting here. Sorry we are closed, and I can't believe this snowman hasn't melted yet. You know, he's not the only, uh, snowman out there who likes uh, warm hugs. Mama Melrose Ristorante Italiano. And then they got a magic shop above it. Now you see it, now you don't. Because I'm actually meeting up with some friends and catching up, we're not gonna do like a full dining review. Just gonna show you a little bit of the food and just enjoy a little company and then head back out in the parks and ride some rides and enjoy the day. But overall, this place is really fun and I like the theming inside. You can see they've got all the pretty lights, they've got ornaments and garland up there, and it's just really nice in here. I love the theming. So cool. I decided to go with the classic, a little spaghetti and meatballs, and they actually give you four meatballs, which is actually a really good portion, because I feel like three meatballs is like the general like portion size for all like meatball dishes, but here at Mama Melrose, you get four. There we go, let's cut into a meatball here. Oh yeah, that looks like a spicy meatball. <laughs> One meatball! I am a meatball enthusiast, so I hope it's actually good. I think I've only ever had the chicken parm here, but look at that bad boy. I'm excited, you get four of them. Now I think it's time we move along. Like I said, I wasn't gonna go into like a full dining review. We were just kind of hanging out. The spaghetti and meatballs was very delicious though, and the portion sizes in there are so good. But the best thing is the bread service. The bread service is phenomenal, and I love it. We're gonna make our way into Galaxy's Edge, ride a couple rides, and I thought I just saw Chewbacca out and about here, but I think he went back inside. We miss Chewbacca. I think since I'm wearing my Boba Fett uh, Roosevelt shirt, which I absolutely love, maybe we'll go do ride uh, Smuggler's Run. You know, I haven't rode in a while, and uh, it seems like a ride that me and Meg always actually ride whenever we come down here. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what the wait time is like. Looks like it's a pretty busy day today. The standby wait time is 55 minutes. That is intense, but I think we're going to go down the lightning lane. I'll tell you what, it was basically a walk-on for the lightning lane, but still 55 minutes for the standby, and that seems like a long wait. But if you wait later in the day, the standby is always under 30 minutes. This is oh. Hello, hello, my friends. I am Paulo Onaka, and this is Onaka Transport Solutions. Today, I am offering the opportunity of a lifetime. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. Pilots to navigate, engineers to operate the ship, and gunners to defend the shipments. And that is where you come in. We might get lucky and get two, but me and Meg are piloting. Oh, we're going in. We're going in. Yeah, two is. Activate. Oh. <laughs> I always love riding Smuggler's Run, especially with a flight crew that's like in it. You know what I mean? We're like yelling and chanting, and I love being the person to yell, punch it, Chewie. It's always my favorite, so Meg was able to actually pull it down, but 
Yeah, Smuggler's Run is great. I don't know if I'd wait 55 minutes for it though. Only if I was here vacationing. Other than that, Lightning Lane, complete walk-on. Now we're gonna make our way into Toy Story Land. I wanted to see if uh, Alien Swirling Saucers actually started their holiday overlay yet, but I'm pretty sure they haven't, but I'll still take a peek, see? Don't mind actually peeking in on Buzz there. Well, it doesn't look like the uh, holiday overlay is ready for Alien Swirling Saucer, but normally it's like uh, Christmas music and it's much better experience at night. I'm guessing November 4th is when everything is actually going to come about because they can't wait any longer than the 8th because that's the first very merry uh, after party or after hours event. So this week, all full-blown holidays. I think we're going to head on into Toy Story Midway Mania and we're actually gonna have a little competition and see who wins. Meg isn't too competitive, but I'm gonna show you the way. I mean, I am pretty. Oh, I seen that wink. I, <laughs> okay, well, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Holy moly, it is very, very, very long line for the standby. Wow. Today just seems like a busy day in general. I really can't show you much of the ride because we're going to be too busy competing, yeah. but we're going to let you know what the score is once we get done, right? I'm not going to win. It, you might have a chance. I'm going to show you all the tricks. If we go to Magic Kingdom, though, I'll challenge you to a uh, one. Yeah. Challenge acceptance. <laughs> I can't waste my energy on this first. Yep, rule number one. First Don't round. waste your energy. No arm strength. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy, let's go. What do we got here? <laughs> nice! You did good! Look at that! <laughs> best in the vehicle, but not best this hour or best this month. Best this month is like 556,000. So that's, that's a lot, right? That takes some serious skill. That was a lot of fun and I came out victorious, but Meg did a good job and now she knows some of the tricks and I think we're going to move along. Now I think we're going to head on in to Slinky Dog Dash. We're going to do a little dash and dodge and I always ask for the back row of Slinky. I think it's so much better and I just love seeing his little springy tail there. Oh, there he goes. It's funny because me and Meg are actually filming a TikTok. We are. It's gonna be really, really fun. And uh, I'm not gonna be able to record most of the ride. Only a little bit because we're gonna be doing the TikTok on the other part of the ride. Whoa! <laughs> This is it. Slinky Dog Dash always puts me in a great mood. And we did a good job on the TikTok, so if you want to watch it, you can come and check it out on both of our TikToks, like Paging Mr. Amaro and then Mickey's Magic. And uh, yeah, I'll put a link like in the description for our TikToks and also uh, Meg's channel, Mickey's Magic. But it was just fun kind of like making TikToks on Slinky Dog Dash. It was really unique. You remember earlier I was saying it'd be awesome to see Max and Goofy together, and look, they actually came out together. That is really unique. 
Oh, look at him. What's he got on his fishing pole? Is that some underwear? <laughs> so the adventurous thing that I was talking about that I'm gonna be doing uh, very shortly is actually my first Run Disney Run. And I am so excited for it. Meg is actually here in town because she's doing the Wine and Dine Half Marathon. I'm not too ready for a half marathon yet. I'm gonna be doing the 5K, but I'm very excited. It's gonna be my first Run Disney event ever. And I've been training for the past couple months, getting myself up and stamina and my speed down and everything like that. And I feel like uh, 5K is a good start for my first Run Disney event. And hopefully I'm gonna use it as a launching point to uh, get myself to do a half marathon for marathon weekends. And I'm excited and Meg's gonna run with me. She does all the Run Disney Marathon, so it's going to be great to have a friend with me as I actually go through it the first time, because nobody wants to do it alone for the first time. And that's my little announcement for you guys. I am very excited for it. I'm also very excited that the lights are starting to turn on here on the tree. And like I said, we're going to be hanging out here tonight, so we're going to see everything all lit up. But I did notice we were missing a little water here. It's definitely... Uh, not as uh, full as it normally is. I'm sure they're gonna get to that eventually, but wow, once it actually gets dark out, you can see a little sparkle on there. This whole entire Echo Lake is just so beautiful to see lit up. And Sunset Boulevard over by the Tower of Terror. I can't wait to see that as well. Now I think we're heading back on into Galaxy's Edge and we're gonna do Rise of the Resistance and then earlier we mentioned that we've got reservations for Olga's uh, so that we can help celebrate Meg's birthday a little bit. So we have a lot to look forward to and I'm very excited. Standby wait time is a 105 minute wait but we're going through the lightning lane and uh, yeah 105 minutes but I don't think it's definitely 105 minutes because there's no queue on the outside. Lieutenant Beck, as you heard from Ray, I have been tasked with getting you to Vakara. Normally, you're kind of rushed through here, but the line is actually starting in here. So we're in line right here, so it gives you plenty of time to take photos, and I think that's really awesome. Excited to meet Colonel Ray. We were told single file, correct? Oh, yes. Right there. Daddy, look. I see, I see. He's not listening. <laughs> They're USB R5? chargers. <laughs> for the galaxy. Yeah, for the galaxy. So, uh, R5 is going to get you guys out of here the rest of the way back to about two safe and sound. Make sure you hold on to your head here. May the force be with you. And good luck. Thanks, Jack. Thank you. Your children. Oh, I'm backing up, backing up, backing up. Woo! <laughs> Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs>
came in a little off target. Ground crews will meet you outside the wreck. Honestly, all Rise of the Resistance rides are amazing, but we can all agree that B mode is not what you want. No. You, you don't want B mode. No, we, got that. we got B mode. We've been B mode. Let's go, Poe. <laughs> As we make our way over to the canteen, I wanted to stop to this really cool photo pass spot over here where they actually have lightsabers that you can use as you take your photo. And I think it's always nifty. It's very cool, especially if you don't have a lightsaber. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't it a great photo pass opportunity? I love it so much. And it's the perfect time of the day for the lightsabers because it really stands out. Always keep an eye out for that because there's nothing actually pointing you in that direction. They're just kind of tucked out over there and uh, I only know from going over there and taking photos before, but it's a little fun thing, like I said, especially if you don't have a lightsaber. Now I think it's time we get to Olga's for our reservation and I feel so awesome coming here. It's been a while and uh, don't mind getting some fancy drinks and maybe some Batu bits. Our table is ready, so we got our mask on and we're good to go. I think I'm gonna get a Bizpin Fizz. It's one of those drinks that has a cool effect to it. I love just being in here though. It's just such a good atmosphere. DJ Rex is actually tearing it up over there. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's amazing. There it is, the Bizpin Fizz. Oh my gosh, that was so fast. Fuzzy Tauntaun, thank you. Meg's got the Fuzzy Tauntaun. Oh, and then we got the Outer Rim. <laughs> we got a Bizpin Fizz. Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! Cheers to the second round, some Gold Squadron. <laughs> this is my favorite beer here in Batu. I don't know, I just love it. And I like the glass too, it's very, you, you said you like the glass too, right? It's very nice. Look at DJ Rex doing his thing here. I think we're all down inside the cantina and we're gonna actually go check out all the Christmas decorations or the Christmas lights and uh, yeah just enjoy the night the parks only open for like another half an hour so we're gonna try to get as much done as we can in just that little time limit and this is what I've been waiting to see all night long <laughs> look at it isn't it beautiful I love it here during the holidays. I love seeing all the ornaments in the water. It is just so beautiful. <laughs> what else is so amazing is seeing the Tower of Terror in the background with its 50th anniversary projections on it because it kind of just fits in perfect with the colors. Like, doesn't it? Wow, this is, I love it. I am so happy to be here right now. Honestly, I just can't stop looking away because I love it. I love seeing the reflections of the Christmas bulbs in the water, and I love that they're actually still spraying water out too. Very cool. Look at how pretty the grassy knolls are even. I know it's kind of funny looking in the lights. I don't know why it does that with cameras, but I love it. Like this is really, really nice.
just walking around here I mean it's great to see all the lights but once like the Christmas music kicks in it is for real such an amazing like experience and I can't wait so like I said we'll have to come back once all of the merchandise and the snacks come back and do like a full Christmas like Hollywood Studios day I think that would be like totally worth it and now we get to see all of the other decorations on the way out all lit up so beautiful here I know I probably said that a hundred times but it really is <laughs> And I guess with that, we're going to call it a night here. So much fun, so amazing. And if you get the chance, check out Mickey's Magic, uh, Meg's channel. I'll put the YouTube link in the description. I believe tomorrow we're actually going to the Run Disney Expo. And then the 5th is the 5K. So I'm super excited to actually be able to do it. And uh, yeah, that might be my next video, I think. <laughs> Anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!